Good day everyone. So for today, we are going to formally start a discussion for this subject, Mathematics in the Modern World. Let's start with the lesson 1, Patterns and Numbers in Nature and World Mathematics in the Modern World. Learning Objectives At the end of this lesson, you are expected to identify pattern in nature and regularities in the world. Articulate the importance of mathematics in one's life. Argue about nature of mathematics, what it is, how it is expressed, represented, and used. And express appreciation for mathematics as a human endeavor. Have you ever stopped to look around and notice all the amazing shapes and patterns we see in the world around us? Mathematics form the building blocks of the natural world and can be seen in stunning ways. Look around. May nakikita ba kayo mga puno? How about plants and animals? What is the weather today? May mga ulap ba? Patterns define us regular, repeated, Recurring forms or design. Patterns in nature are visible regularities of form found in the natural world. These patterns recur in different contexts and can sometimes be modeled mathematically. Kahit saan tayo tumingin at pumunta, madami tayo nakikita ang patterns. In plants, the shapes, colors, and patterns of insects, pollinated flowers like gumamela, have evolved to attract insects such as bees. In natural patterns include symmetries, trees, spirals, meanders, whips, foams, tessellations, cracks, and stripes. Studying patterns helps the students in identifying relationships and finding logical connections to form generalizations and make predictions. The first pattern in nature is symmetry. It's general in all living organisms. Animals may have bilateral or mirror symmetry as the leaves of the plants. The butterfly is symmetric about the axis indicated by the line. Note that the left and right portions are exactly the same. This type of symmetry is called bilateral symmetry. In a bilaterally symmetrical organisms, only one plane can divide the organisms into mirror image. This can also be called left-right symmetry or reflection symmetry. The sample is the reflection of trees in the river. Okay, subukan mo lagyan ng gumhit yung gitna ng mukha mo. Pag ang left side ng face mo ay the same sa right side ng face mo, ang tawag doon ay bilateral symmetry. Kung hindi naman, dahil ang kabilang mata mo ay singkit at yung kabilang side naman ng mata mo ay malaki, ang tawag naman doon ay asymmetry. Rotational symmetry, also known as radial symmetry in biology, is the property the form has when it appears the same after any rotation by a partial rotation. The degree of rotational symmetry of the object is the number of distinct orientation in which it looks exactly the same with each rotation. Ito yung mga bagay na kahit paikutin natin, same pa din yung appearance mo. Madaming nakaka-relate dito eh. Kasi kahit pinapaikot-ikot na lang sila ng jowa nila, hindi pa rin nagbabago yung pagtingin nila kasi mahal pa din nila. Rotational Symmetry Okay? Trees are natural fractals, patterns that replicate smaller and smaller copies of themselves in order to create biodiversity of the forest. These objects display self-similar structure over an extended but finite in scale range. Example is a branch of the tree. From the trunk to the tips is the copy of the one that came before it. Another example of pattern of fractals in nature is broccoli, clover leaf, and fern. So mamaya, bago lutuin ng nanay mo yung broccoli, tingnan mo yung small parts nito and as a whole, 
Then, tanungin mo siya kung alam niya yung tawag sa pattern na yun. Pag di niya alam, sabihin mo, Fractals Pattern. Para naman makitang nag-aaral kang mabuti. Sabay hingi ng pang-load. Galing! Wow! The next one is Spirals. Uh, it is a curved pattern that focuses on a center point and a series of circular shapes that revolve around it. Example of spirals are pine cones, hurricanes, nautilus shells, and pineapples. Okay, kung naitanong mo na kanina yung about sa broccoli, itanong mo na din yung sa pineapple para bilip sila sa'yo. Sabihin mo, spiral patterns. Chaotic okay. patterns use a fixed and definable set of rules for pattern and formation. Chaotic patterns are unpredictable because any small change in initial conditions could result in huge changes in resulting behavior like um, crowd streets, lightning, um, social and natural system, and brain corals. Pag napunta ka sa isang building, punta ka sa mataas na bahagi nito. Pero huwag kang tatalo na. Tingnan mo lang kung ano ang pattern na nagpo-form ng mga sasakyan sa kalsada habang nagbabiyay sila or kahit sa mga matakang lugar habang namamalengke kayo ng nanay mo, obserbahan mo yung paligid. Waves pattern are disturbances that carry energy as they move. As waves in water or wind pass over sand, they create patterns of ripples. When winds blows over large bodies of sand, they create dunes or yung burol ng buhangin, mga latak na form ng hangin sa sea coasts or desierto, that is waves pattern. Wow! Bubbles and foam. A surface with a minimal area. The smallest possible surface are for the volume enclosed. Foam is a mass of bubbles. Foams of different materials occur in nature. Um, shout out sa masasipag dyan, lalo na sa mga naglalaba, nag-uurong at nagsasabon pag naliligo. Sa mga hindi marunong magsabon, lalo na sa paliligo, abi magbagong buhay na kayo. Tessellations, uh, an arrangement of shapes closely fitted together, especially of polygons in uh, repeated patterns without gaps or overlapping. Okay. Example, um, honeycomb, um, oriental carpets, uh, yung balat ng ahas, lizard. Pwede mo nga sabihin eh. Babe, sana tessellations pattern na lang tayo para closely fitted together. Sana all. Wow. Rocks are linear openings formed in materials to alleviate stress. Uh, when the materials fails in all directions, rocks occur. The patterns produced indicate whether or not the materials is elastic. Uh, sample natin dito ay broken earth, puno ng palm tree, uh, at ng buko yung coconut. Minsan, visible din ito sa mga padabog-bagurong kapag nauutusan. Galit na galit, gustong manakit. The two classic patterns are stripes and spots. Uh, both patterns are created by wave-like structures in the chemistry. Long parallel waves produce stripes. A second system of waves at an angle to the first can cause the stripes to break up into series of spots. So, example natin dito sa stripes are yung uh, stripes ng tiger and zebra. And while spots is um, cheetah and leopard. Since alam nyo na on how to identify pattern in nature and regularities in the world, Masasabi mo na na ang mathematics is a part of our daily life. We love nature and we don't want to go deep into what the mathematical concept is. The essence of mathematics is exceptional. And as we have seen, we can apply it all over the world. For example, how does our street light work with mathematical instructions?
Our everyday life is full of mathematics and has many links to nature as well. Abstractions from nature are one of the vital elements in mathematics. Mathematics is a universal subject that has links to several different fields, including nature. If you have any more questions, please post it in our group chat and I will answer all of those for your clarification. Once again, thank you so much. Thank you, hot dogs.